It is about that time, ladies and gentlemen. Playoff volleyball is here in Moorhead, Minnesota as the Moorhead Spuds welcome in the Buffalo Bison. The Bison sit at the fifth seed in the bracket here today as, and the Moorhead Spuds sit at seed number four. Glad you could be with us here on this Saturday afternoon. I'm Thomas Fox. Thank you for tuning in to Girls Volleyball on Spuds TV. This should definitely be a very good one as these two teams are pretty equal in attributes and talent. Morad has the height and so does Buffalo. They recently played on the 17th of October. That was about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, where Moorhead beat the Bison three to one. And Moorhead has been a pretty good team at home this season, nine and four record, and they're five and two against Section 8 4A. And the last time these spots were in the playoffs was last year. A, you could say, not the strongest season for these Spuds last year as they went 12 and 16 and they lost to the Rogers Royals who have been a powerhouse of a team the last couple of years. They lost them three nothing in the first round last year. And if Moorhead wins against the Royals or excuse me, against the Bison, the Spuds will have a chance to rematch between the Rogers Royals on the 31st. And that is if the Royals beat Elk River here today. They, they started about an hour ago. We have no update on the score just yet, but we will make sure to get that to you as soon as we can. For Buffalo, they haven't done very well against, this, against Section 8 4A. They're, they have a one and four record. But they are 7-3 on the road, which should definitely be a motivation factor for them. But Moorhead has been almost unstoppable at home, except for those four losses. And Buffalo also, they should at least be feeling good about their defense, as they've only given up 27 total points to the teams they face this year. They finished the regular season with a 15 and eight record. Just a couple games behind the Spuds who sit at 16 and 11 to finish the season. We'll be back here on Spuds TV for the national anthem and the starting lineups. It's the Bison and the Spuds here on Spuds TV.
It is game time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over these starting lineups real quick, starting with Buffalo. It'll be on the court for the Bison. Will be Ellie Kaisman, Haley Schultz, Haley Posh, Madison Rouchard, Josie Coons, Olivia Lutz, and Kaya Castle. And Ellie Kaisman will be the Bison Libero for the Spuds. Annie Horan, Aubrey Smith, Talia Triggs, Alexa Kruger, Grace Bathurst, Lauren Peterson, the Libero, and Madden Bogenreef. So on the other side of the Section 8 4A bracket, STMA is currently taking on the Bemidji Lumberjacks at Sartell High School. Or excuse me, STMA, in STMA. And the Sabres, the Sartell Sabre, Sabres are taking on the Sauk Rapids Storm at six o'clock tonight. And these semifinals should be set by the end of tonight. And more often than not, this Moorhead crowd is always electrifying. And when it's the playoffs, it's gonna be times 10. But the student section isn't as big as it usually is. So that could be a factor in the amount of en energy in this gymnasium, but hopefully it shouldn't change one bit. as this season has been a huge turnaround for the Spuds. Head coach Amber Fugelberg has really done a great job at shaping up this playoff caliber team. And they have a much better chance at getting revenge on the Royals with their highly improved starting lineup, as well as their just, their overall depth in general. Bison didn't survive long in the playoffs last year, as they lost in the semis to the STMA Knights. We are fueled up and ready to go here at Moorhead High School. The last few subs check in for each team. And definitely one of the deciding factors of whoever wins this game is who can play the best defense at the net. Both teams have incredible height that they can use to their advantage. We'll soon to find out. Peterson will serve. And here we go. Buffalo trying to start off early. Here's Triggs. Played nicely by Kaisman, and it falls down in the spot strike first. And on, the, and on the final second, it'll go towards Buffalo as it was last touched by Moorhead after a final decision. So Buffalo strikes first. Here's Haran. 
And denied at the net by Haran, but it's 2-0 as it falls on the Moorhead side and out of bounds. Haran keeps it in play, now Selvold. And it's 3 nothing just like that. And the Bison are really just an all gas, no break team so far. Rushar will serve. Up to Haran. Nice dig by Kaisman. Deflected out of the net. Salvold. Bogenreef. Smith. Just inside the line, and the spuds are on the board. And Alexa Kruger checking in for Smith, and she'll serve. Nice dig by Kaisman. Another great dig there by Schultz. Here's Selvold, deflected. Kept alive. Too much on it, and it's 3 2. Zupan was on the attack there. And she put too much on it, and it brings the Spuds to within one. Make that zero as Haran was right there at the net to tie it up on the first community credit union scoreboard. Crew with the serve. Kaisman puts it up for Schultz. Now Peterson. Bogenreve up to Selvold. Another great dig by Kaisman. She's having himself, she's having herself a great game so far. Haran! Another dig by Kaisman. And that lands inbounds. 4-3. Ellie Kaisman is putting on a show early. Four three Buffalo. Tipped over the net. In the air for Zupan. Here's Triggs. Schultz. Zupan hits it right into the net, and the game is tied. 4-4 on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Back and forth we go here in set number one. Zupan gets denied. Zupan tries again. Triggs keeps it alive for Lund, who recently checked in. Peterson keeps it alive. Haran's turn, and she delivers. 5-4, first lead of the game for the Spuds. And she is definitely a versatile weapon, one of the many versatile weapons on this roster. And the game is tied after that serve goes over the line. Schultz will serve. Up top to Triggs. Couldn't get it to succeed that time. And a lift on Moorhead. Results in a 6-5 lead for the Bison. And you're definitely going to see a lot of aggression near the net. Here's Haran. It lands out of bounds. Looked like I may have hit a Bison player, but it's 7-5 in set number one. Good try by Haran. Schultz will serve once again. Good dig by... Lund, Triggs. Up top to Zupan. 
A great dig by Lund. Now Triggs again found an opening, and it's 7 6. Bathurst will check in for Peterson. Here's Horan. Kept alive by Kaisman. And a double hit on the Bison. And it's 7-7. Seven, seven. And the Spuds got a free gift there. But the Bison will this time as Horan serves it over the line. Here's Josie Coons checking into the game and she'll serve. Peterson back in the game. High in the air. Denied at the net by Bathurst. And we're tied back up at eight. Rouchard went over the top, and Bathurst was right there to rudely greet her. And it results in a game tying point for Moorhead. And it's 9 to 8 as it was tipped over the net by a few spuds. Bathurst, Smith, and Triggs. We're all right there. 9-8 Moorhead. Cannot be saved by Schultz, and it's 10-8. And now the Spuds starting to gain some momentum here in set number one. Up top, Rouchard couldn't get it to go. Triggs. Kept in the air. Rushar gets it to fall. 10 to nine. She gets the kill. Bison down one. And Kaisman will serve. Easy point for Moorhead as it goes out of bounds. 11-9. Triggs will serve. That was easy. A first half promo ace for Triggs, and it's 12-9. All those Bison players were just sitting ducks on that play right there. Largest lead of the afternoon for the Spuds. Tipped over the net by Aubrey Smith. And it's 13 to nine. And a timeout called by Jen Peterson, head coach of the Bison. She wants to talk things over as her team is down four here in set number one. And you really gotta admit, so far it's been a very good game so far here in set number one. And as mentioned earlier, these two teams are pretty similar in terms of their attributes, like mentally and in terms of height. And we've seen those factors like, all, like already dozens of times throughout this set so far. A few defensive plays at the net by Bathurst and Haran, among others. And we'll see how the Bison respond to this four-point hole they've dug themselves in. Natalie Mix is in the game. Triggs to serve once again. Keeping alive is Schultz. Up top for Aubrey Smith, it falls down. 
two Bisons almost collided. That was Therian and Kaisman. And Aubrey Smith was able to find, or excuse me, Annie Horan was able to find a chink in the armor. Five point lead. Make that six. 15 to nine. Buffalo trying to answer. They're gonna. They needed that 15-10 on the first community credit union scoreboard. Olivia Lutz will serve. And it's a good one. Bogan Reef up top for Selvold. Kept alive by Buffalo. Peterson keeps it in the air. For Smith. Nicely played by Schultz. Kept alive by Bogan Reef over the net. And it'll fall down in front of Triggs. That was, I believe, Kaya Castle. Number 18, who got credit for the kill. Triggs couldn't keep up with it. Was a step behind. Here's Selvavold. In play. Kaisman keeps it in the air. Nice dig by Peterson. Here's Triggs. Into the net. And it's a three-point game. And Castle is right there. She is definitely... The tallest player on the Bison roster. So she is definitely a huge asset to this team's success. And it falls off of Buffalo. And it's 16 to 12. Peterson will, will serve with her team up four. Here in set number one. Deflected off the net. Dug nicely by Kaisman, but it could not be dug out by Schultz. The lead's back to five for Moorhead. Peterson will serve once again. Everything coming up Moorhead as that could not be dug out that time. A first half promo ace for Peterson. So Triggs and Peterson both have aces in this game and in this set alone. So a very good start for the Spuds offensively. How about another for the Spuds? The points just keep tallying up. Stop the count, says Buffalo as they take a timeout. 19-12 on the first community credit union scoreboard. And Buffalo is having a pretty difficult time right now. Just in terms of communication. As that was three straight points for Moorhead in a blink of an eye. And you would think that, like as of right now, you'd think that the height of Buffalo would be able to match up with the Spuds no problem, but Moorhead has definitely found a loophole in this set so far. Peterson, ready to serve once again. 19-12, Moorhead. 
Buffalo looking to reset. Castle right to Triggs. Up to Haran. She's denied. Kept in the air by Buffalo. Nice job by Triggs. Salvold. Castle again. Finds an opening and gets the kill. Good answer from the Bison. And it's a six point game. Rouchard with the serve, dug out by Triggs. Nice job by her. Peterson over the net. Up top for Castle again. She is rolling. She's in her bag like the fries are at the bottom. Two straight kills for Kaya Castle and the lead's cut to five. Nice dig by Triggs. Haran. Action packed game so far. Smith dug out by Kaisman. Denied at the net. And it will be rewarded to Moorhead as it was a lift on Buffalo. And Moorhead is really playing fast pace. All gas, no brakes are the spuds so far. Castle again. Her third kill in the last few minutes. And she is rolling and she'll serve. Haran. Schultz. Zupan couldn't finish over the net. As she was met by the Spuds defense. 21-15 in set number one. Dug out nicely there by Lutz. It'll go to Moorhead. 22-15. Moorhead seems to have all the momentum so far. But Ruchar is doing her best to keep her team in this set as she gets the kill. Haley Schultz will serve for Buffalo. Up top to Haran, deflected at the net, kept alive by Kaisman. Triggs keeps it in the air. Lund to Triggs. She's denied. Horan starts it off. Triggs looked to finish. And she can't, but play will resume. And it's going to ricochet off the Bison, and it'll fall. A very intense rally results in the Spuds' 23rd point of set number one. And they're two points away from closing out this set. Make that one. A first half promo ace for Haran. Matt set point coming up. Haran looks to do it again. Three aces so far for the Spuds. In this set alone, Kaisman keeps it alive for Schultz. Deflected, could not be kept alive by Haran. And she'll take a seat. Lauren Peterson back into the game. 24-17 spuds in set number one. Lund keeps it in the air. Here's Bathurst looking to win it. She does. Spuds win set number one as Bathurst seals the deal. A very good start to this game for the Spuds as they win set number one, 25-17.
as Grace Bathurst ends it with a kill. We will take a quick break here on Spuds TV. When we return, it'll be set number two between the Bison and the Spuds. We are just about ready for set number two between the Bison and the Spuds. In case you missed it, Moorhead won set number one, 25-17. Thanks to a Grace Bathurst set ending kill. And she is definitely one of the best on the team for the Spuds. And she put it on display with that last kill. Bison looking for answers. <laughs> Buffalo was off to a decent start in set number one and they just fell apart from there. Here's Haran, deflected, kept alive by Kaisman. And once again, it's Kaya Castle. She is having herself a tremendous game so far. And she starts the scoring in set number two. Kept in the air by Triggs with the bump. Haran. Could not be dug out, and it's one to one. First it was Kaisman, then Coons. Neither one could dig it out. And it'll be credited to Haran. Here's Kruger. Dug out by Kaisman. Ruchar put too much on it. And it's two to one. Bump to keep it in the air. Peterson bumps it. Now Bogenreve up to Selvold. She's denied. And it's 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> Rushar will serve. Bogenreve up to Haran once again. Nobody home. 3-2. Lund with the serve, right into the net, and it's 3-3. So a little bit of uh, motivation for the Bison. A little bit of momentum as well. But it's only early in set number two. 
Little miscommunication there, but Horan's able to finish it off. Up top to Triggs. She's denied. She keeps it in the air. Bogenreef. 4-3. Casey. Kathy. It's Kathy. You know what I'm saying? Kathy. She's like one of the coaches down there said uh, call her Castle. Kathy. Okay. I just got a note from one of the people. Thank you. 4-4 game. And a rotation. Natalie Mix is in the game for the Bison. Here's Triggs. Too much on it, but it was deflected. 5-4. Schultz with the serve. Bathurst. Couldn't finish it off. Schulte keeps it in the air for Rouchard. Out of bounds. Game tied at five on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Here's Bowen Reef. Really good serve. Started off by Kaisman. Nice dig by Bogenreef. Triggs. And it falls. Could not be dug out by Buffalo, and it's 6 5. Buffalo looking to get a good start to set number two, and this is looking better. As that bump goes into the ceiling for Moorhead, and it's 6-6. And Josie Coons will serve. Bump by Triggs, Bathurst! Moorhead takes the lead, 7-6. Another kill for Bathurst. And she was able to find the opening in the Buffalo defense. Triggs to serve. Bathurst almost finished it. As the dig from Kaisman goes out of bounds. as Bathurst should be credited for that point. 8-6, make it 8-7, as that serve from Triggs goes way over the line. So some insurance for Buffalo. Here's Kaisman. Bumped by Peterson. Now Bathurst couldn't finish. Kaisman starts it off. Could not be finished by Mix. 9-7. As that one goes right into the net. And Bathurst will check out. Peterson will serve. Caffey almost got another kill. Here's Horan. Handled nicely by Kaisman. Deflected at the net. 10-7. The Spuds' height worked to their advantage. Three Spuds right at the net to make it 10-7. Here's Schultz. Caffey couldn't finish. 11-7. 
Peterson with a line drive serve. Caffey's denied. 12-7. They found the answer to the red hot Kaya Caffey. Timeout, Jen Peterson. And once again, it is, it is pretty much deja vu for the Bison. As this is pretty much the score in set number one. And the spots are pretty much like, oh, same score, might as well do it again. Might as well win set number two. And Moorhead definitely has a ton of momentum on their side right now. And it seems like Buffalo can't keep up with the speed of play that is pre presented by the Spuds. As Moorhead has been playing really fast paced from the get go. Three spuds at the net. It'll be Haran, Selvold, and Smith. And a little hesitation as Caffey couldn't pull the trigger. She was in the perfect position too to just fire away. A costly hesitation from Caffey results in a Moorhead point. And that one falls. But it'll be credited to Buffalo. 14 to seven. Well, there was a miscommunication on the score. It is 13 to eight. Salvo deflected. Off the Bison and out of bounds. 14 to eight. That time they got their 14th point. It was gonna come sooner or later. Kruger with the serve. Kuhn starts it off. Couldn't be finished by Ruchar. Schultz. Caffey put too much on it. 15 to eight. Just seemed like Caffey was in the wrong place at the wrong time with that pass. Kept alive by Schulte, or excuse me, Schultz. Kaisman was able to keep it alive, but not anymore, 16 to eight. as the Spuds found another opening. And they're starting to open a pretty sizable lead. Kept in the air by Selvold, and it's off for and out of bounds, 16 to nine. Hallberg checks in for Coons. Nice play by Bogan Reef to keep it alive. Deflected, and it'll fall on the Buffalo side, 17 to nine. Schultz to Holberg. Now the Spuds, Triggs. Schultz again, Caffey again. She's denied, but it falls anyway. 17 to 10, Moorhead. As Caffey gets a little bit of redemption. And she'll check out for Marioski. Alan Marioski will serve for Buffalo. With her team down seven on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Line drive serve, it couldn't be handled. 
Right away, Mirioski gets an ace. That was a line drive serve. Could not be handled by Lund. Another line drive serve. Maybe a little too much of a line drive as that one goes out of bounds. And the lead's back to seven for Moorhead. Here's Horan, dug out by Kaisman. Schultz, could not be dug out by Lund. 18 to 12, as that was Posh. Six point lead in set number two for the Spuds. A pretty, pretty fake, but a double hit is gonna be called. It is 18 to 13, it should be. Bathurst, she adds to that total. Now it's 19 to 13. Bathurst is having herself a pretty solid game. Here's Bogan Reef again. Schultz. Keeps it alive for Mix. Peterson up top to Smith. She's denied. Dug out by Peterson. What a dig by Lauren Peterson. And it's out of bounds. It'll go against Moorhead due to a judge's decision. Nineteen fourteen now. As a violation, puts the Bison within five. Triggs! That was a laser that was somehow handled by Coons. But in the end, it won't matter. Twenty to fourteen spuds. Triggs will serve. Buds have all the momentum on their side, it seems like. Schultz. Rochar. Twenty-one fourteen. There was an opening. It could not be found by Buffalo. And a timeout called by the Bison. 21-14 lead on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. And the Spuds are looking outstanding so far. As they are four points away from taking a two sets to none lead. It'll be Triggs, Peterson, Bogenreef, Smith, Bathurst, and Salvold on the court. For this upcoming rally. And for the Bison. It'll be Mix. Can't seem to get the other numbers. And it wouldn't have mattered, as in a matter of seconds. A first half promo ace for the Spuds. 22-14. And Two nice digs by the Bison, somehow keeping it alive. Schultz with the pass. 
to Roshar. Ru Roshar couldn't get it to go. Looking to finish it is Ness. She does. As it's off of Bison. And the spots are two points away. Triggs will serve once more. Is it in bounds? It is! First half promo ace for Triggs. Set point coming up. And the spuds go up 10. Triggs looking to end it. Kaisman keeps it alive. Rushar, dug out by Ness somehow. Peterson, Schultz, deflected, and it'll fall. <laughs> Buffalo clinging on for dear life in this set. 24-15 now. Kaisman will serve. Bumped by Triggs. Here's Bathurst looking to finish it. She does. She is the decider. Two sets in a row. She has ended it for the Spuds. 25-15 the final of set number two. When the Spuds are one point away from winning a set, you better hope that Grace Bathurst isn't on the court because she is inevitable. Spuds take a two sets to none lead. They look to sweep in set number three. We will be back on Spuds TV for more Section 8 4A playoff coverage between the Bison and the Spuds. We are just about set for set number three between the Bison and the Spuds. Moorhead won set number two, 25-15, thanks to another set ending Grace Bathurst kill. As she and the rest of the Spuds team is feeling it. Here against the five-seeded Buffalo Bison. And Coach Fugelberg has to be so proud of what her girls have accomplished this season. And for Peterson, Coach Peterson for the Bison, you would think that their mentality going into set number three is to hit the ground running and never stop running. And they've tried that in the last two sets, but 
they just can't seem to finish. They've definitely burned out real quick as soon as they get to the halfway point of each set. Peterson will start set number three with a pretty good serve. One nothing, a line drive serve, or hit rather, by Caffey. Here's Madison Rouchard with a pretty good serve. Could not be handled by Peterson and it's two nothing. So a solid start for the Bison here in set number three. Rouchard will serve again. Triggs with the bump. Here's Selvold, three nothing, double hit on the spuds. And this is the type of start you want if you're Buffalo. Haran gets a little payback. Three to one as it was deflected by Kaisman. Alexa Kruger checks back in for Aubrey Smith. Three at the net, two in the backcourt for the Spuds. Triggs can't get there, and it's four to one. Kaisman checks out, and so does Caffey. Marioski with a good serve, Horan! will make it 4-2 as it was deflected at the net by Buffalo. Kendall Lund will serve. Solid serve by Lund. And a kill for the Bison. Five two now. <laughs> Haley Schultz will serve. Here's Horan. Almost inside the line, but it's six two. High bump, deflected, 6-3. Horan will get credit, Bathurst back in. Peterson out. Too much on it again. Or did it stay in bounds? Just barely, and it's 7-3. It surely looked like it was out of bounds. But the far judge seemed to have a better angle. Back to a four point lead for Buffalo. High bump by Lund. Triggs, 7-4, it was deflected, Triggs got another crack at it, and she cuts the lead to three. Bogan Reef with a good serve, Schultz, Ro Rouchard got denied. 8-4, could not be handled by anybody. 
as Bathurst was the last to touch it. Kaisman. Nice dig by Kaisman there. Triggs. Good dig by Coons. Cavies denied. It falls. 8 5 Buffalo. As the Moorhead defense steps up big time. Kept in the air by Schultz. High hit. Too much. 8-6. Natalie Mix on the far side. And she wasn't able to keep it in bounds. Rouchard handled nicely by Bogenreef for the moment, but it goes out of play. 9-6 on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Lutz will serve. Very good serve by Lutz. Selvold, you bet! Two point game. Bathurst will go to the bench. Peterson will serve. 9-7. Buffalo leads here in set number three. Nice dig there by Coons. Rushar couldn't keep it in bounds. 9-8. Kaisman starts it off for Buffalo. And they're able to get a kill out of it. 10 8. Rushar will serve. Triggs with the bump. Now Horan could not be handled by Kaisman. But her teammates have her back, and it's four hits on the Bison, and it's 10 to 9. Here's Kruger. Started off by Lutz. Now Triggs with a bump. Here's Selvold up top, and it falls. And we are tied. 10 all in set number three. Kruger will serve. Kept alive somehow by Triggs and Peterson. Schultz couldn't end it. Peterson keeps it alive. Selvo now. Kaisman. Here's Holberg. Horan. Kaisman with a good dig. Another great dig by Peterson. Selvo. And after all of that, the Bison take the lead. Miri Hoski checks in, and she'll serve with her team up one on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Bogenreef found the opening. 11-11. That was money right there by Madden Bogenreef.
Here's Lund. Schultz keeps it in the air for Ruchar. Here's Triggs. Deflected. Out of bounds. Sports take the lead. For the first time in set number three. Lund. Dug out nicely there by Lutz. And it falls on the Buffalo side. 13-11. You can definitely say this has become deja vu for the Bison, but they get something back. That'll at least mean something. 13-12 as that serve from Lund goes out of bounds. Haley Schultz with the serve. Over the line, 14-12. Bathurst is back in with Triggs, Bogenreef, Kruger, Bogenreef, and Haran who serves right into the net. 14-13, Spuds lead. But the Bison are right on Moorhead's tail. Coons will serve. Box formation for the Bison. Somehow kept alive by Lund. And once again, after a few great saves by the Spuds, the Bison come out with the point to win that rally. Kendall Lund with an amazing dig. Kruger with the bump. Here's Bathurst. Schultz couldn't handle the heat from Bathurst. And the Spuds retake the lead, 15-14. Here's Bogenreef. Schultz to Ruchar. Dug out by Bogenreef. Kept alive by Smith. Double hit on the Spuds, and we're tied back up. Hope Schmitz is in the game, and Kaisman will serve for Buffalo. Trying to keep her team alive in this matchup. Triggs over the net. Caffey delivers. That was nasty. Nothing the Spuds could do about that. And the Bison take the lead back. 16-15 now. High arcing serve. Kept in the air somehow, but it won't matter. That was a very high arcing serve by Kaisman. That was somehow dug out by Peterson, but the Spuds couldn't finish that rally. They're going to get a gift right there, 17 16, as Kaisman serves it right into the net. Triggs, line drive serve. Started by Ruchar. And the judge first signaled Moorhead's point, but it'll go to Buffalo. As there was a net violation on Moorhead. Eighteen to sixteen. Olivia Lutz. Peterson. Smith almost found an opening. Great dig by Schultz. But the Spuds are able to get a point out of that. 18 17. Yeah. 
18-17, Buffalo. Here's Rouchard. Dug out by Bogan Reef. Seven volts denied, and it falls. 19-17, Buffalo. We'll see if Fugelberg, at some point in this set, takes a timeout. She has yet to take a timeout in this game as her team has pretty much had all the momentum and they got a little back. A great fake by Bogenreef. As the lights were on, but nobody was home for Buffalo. 19-18 now on the first Community Credit Union scoreboard. Make it 19 all. A first half promo ace. Kruger with the serve. Lutz keeps it in the air. Now Schultz. 20 to 19. Madison Rouchard. Ellen Mirioski serves with her team up one. Triggs with a bump. Bogenreef up top to Selvold. It falls! Selvold gets the kill and it's 20-20 in set number three. Lund will serve. Tie game in set number three. Lutz starts it off. Schultz, Holberg, now Bogenreef, kept in the air. Schultz, who's gonna get it? It'll be Buffalo. Twenty-one to twenty. Schultz will serve. Kruger, here's Triggs. You bet! We're tied up again. Triggs has herself another kill. And Bathurst is back in. Haran, line drive serve. Kept in the air by Schulte. Blocked at the net, it falls out of bounds. Off of Buffalo and the Spuds lead 22 to 21. And another timeout taken by Jen Peterson. The closest the Bison have been in any set past the halfway mark. Set number three has turned into a good one. 22-21 spuds. As for this set, it's gonna go down to the to the wire. You can already tell. The spuds will have Triggs, Bogenreef, Bathurst, Kruger. Lund and Horan. The Bison will have Posh, Mix, Rushar, Kaisman, and I can't seem to get the other numbers, but here we go. Schultz, Posh is denied. Triggs. Nice dig there. Blocked at the net. And we're tied up. That was Natalie Mix. Who was going up top. Here's Hallberg with the serve. Bogenreef, Bathurst. 
She was bringing the heat once again. 23-22. Bathurst gets another kill. You can tell on that serve, or in that rally, excuse me, she was playing angry. And it worked to perfection as the Spuds are two points away. Kept alive by Lund. Bathurst. Kaisman in the air for Rouchard. Deflected. Bumped by Lund. Here's Triggs. She's denied. Triggs keeps it alive on her side. Bathurst looking to do it again. She couldn't that time as it goes into the net. 23 all in set three. Ellie Kaisman will serve. Into the net. Match point coming up. And they will have their ringer, Talia Triggs, to serve. Selvold, Bathurst, and Smith at the net. Kept in the air, Schulte, Rushar. Bogan Reef keeps it in the air. Bumped by Bathurst, Smith. Kept alive by Selvold. Oh, what a sequence that time. Kept alive, Selvold. And it's tied up. We are tied at 24. What a rally that was. I'm surprised that the Spuds are even able to keep it alive. Now at this point, someone has to lead by two. It'll be match point for Buffalo, and finally, Amber Fugelberg takes a timeout. The Bison have really found the answer in set number three, as they are one point away from winning set three and making it a two set to one set contest. As the pep band getting everybody fired up for these last few minutes of set number three. <laughs> Buffalo looking to stay in it. Three at the net, three in the backcourt for the Spuds. Nice dig by Peterson. Here's Selvold. Could not be dug out by Kaisman. We're tied up at 25. Selvold does it again. Here's Peterson with the serve. It's a good one. Could not be handled by Holberg. Match point once again, this time for the Spuds. The Spuds can smell a rematch with the Royals. We have yet to get a score, but chances are that will be the case. Triggs falls. Selvold. Triggs bumps it. Here's Horan. Kaisman keeps it alive. And blocked at the net. Somehow kept alive. Triggs for the win. Dug out again by Kaisman. Caffey, it falls. The Bison staying in it. Haymaker after Haymaker in this set. Here's Horan. She's denied. 
Kept in the air. Over the net. It falls. Haran, some redemption. 27 26. Crowd on their feet. Time out, Buffalo. Match point coming up for the Spuds. And a scoring update between the Spuds and the Warriors. It is 14 14 at halftime. Spuds looking to move on to the section finals. This is the semifinals between the Brandon Warriors. As they recently won the quarterfinals matchup with the Sabres by 42, 42 nothing win. Owen Thiel just having a good game on offense and defense. But more importantly, match point for the Spuds. Kruger could not be handled. And that's it. 28-26, the final in set number three. And the Spuds can happily get out the brooms as it is sweeping time. And more at high school. The Spuds are off to the semifinals. And you can admit that this turnaround for this team has been nothing short of phenomenal. And for the Buffalo Bison, a crushing defeat. As in the one set they needed to win to stay in it, they weren't able to finish the job. Rogers and Elk River started at noon today, so we will try our best to find the score. It seems like we can't do that right now, but regardless, the Spuds will play the winner of the Royals and Elks game. And that game should be wrapping up shortly but for now, Moorhead wins this quarterfinals matchup between the Buffalo Bison, three sets to nothing, winning set number one, 25-17, set number two, 25-15, and set number three, 28-26. That is going to do it for girls volleyball this afternoon on Spuds TV. I am Thomas Fox saying so long from Moorhead.